pouring out. Is water pump what? It looks like the water pump out of this crap. You for real? I'm not gonna tighten that up because I know I'm gonna have to move it, unfortunately. Um, I just hope, is this gonna be in the way of the freaking motor mount? Motor mount bracket? I don't know, bro. A little iffy to me. Where's that motor mount and the motor mount bracket at? It might not fit. I don't, I don't know, bro. I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that it does fit, you know? Now for this front one, for me to mock it up, I think I gotta lower the car back down so I can see because I literally cannot see, bro. So yeah, I'm about to do that. Lower the car so I can put the front one on. All right, let's do that. Take this lock off. I know it's probably boring though, to be honest. Y'all watching me. It might not be though, I don't know. The hell? Y'all seen that fall? Yeah, I'm just here bored. I was gonna play music and everything, but I'm trying to record for y'all. You know, this is what it takes, fortunately. Put it all the way down, that way it doesn't rest on a lift when it's not on the locks. Learn my lesson. Cool. Well, I'm gonna have to do like a lot of editing in this. I'm probably about to just time lapse this. In the meantime, while I get that outlet cup uh, clamp situated, clean, bro. Stinks. Clean. clean. Apex wheels, same apex wheels as me. Same fender as well. M3 fenders. Carbon fiber. He got the side skirts. He got everything that I was gonna do. He got this wrapped in. Like an army mess, man. He got that blacked out. You know it's a fat tire on it. You already know what that means. This is the best part of it. Look at the tag. <laughs> oh my god, man. He got so much carbon fiber on here. It's crazy. Got an exhaust. This thing is insane, bro. Definitely insane. Look at the wheel. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a upgraded wheel on there as well. Custom wheel, carbon fiber. It's clean. So this is pretty much what my car want, like what, what I want my build to be. This spec right here. Man, this thing is clean, bro. Yep. And we got that baby right there. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out this clamp down here on the on the um on the outlet. I'm trying to get the clamp seated to where it's on the on the turbo uh, the turbo line itself. So try to get that situated. Hopefully it doesn't leak boost from that. So I'm gonna try to tighten it down as much as I can. But I lost the freaking extension. I don't even know where my extension and my eight went. So I gotta find that. But I'm about to time warp that. So all right. So that was hell doing that. 
I don't know why, but I don't know if I got the correct outlets. I think I did, but it's just so tight fitted. Like <sighs> that outlet was hella hard to put on, but I got it on there tight. Got the V-band on there. I'm not the V-band, but the clamp on there. I had to bend this pipe to the right so it can connect up there. Um, now that that's connected, I just hope it doesn't leak. Cause if it starts leaking a little bit from these outlets, I'm gonna just get use stock outlet either stock outlets or just get the one with the v-band on it because i literally just made this work um it's tight it's not moving or anything so it should be good so i just got to tighten up that clamp right there tighten up that one on down there on the intercooler um and that's pretty much it like i could do that water pump yeah put the water pump on once I put the water pump on, I just do the relocation kit for the relocation for the, um, what is it? The expansion tank over there. I could do that. And then that's pretty much it, bro. I don't think I have anything else to do. Just put coolant water or well, coolant, coolant in it, put coolant, um, oil. I'm just frustrated, bro, because that, that really pissed me off. That outlet really pissed me off. Man. So hopefully it doesn't leak. Got my fingers crossed. Everything else is on there. That inlet is not slipping off at all. Um, I just pray to God these the stuff doesn't leak and it runs smoothly. So we're going to cross our fingers and just finish up everything. All right, we back. So I think the last time I updated y'all, I had just... I don't know what I did, but I put the coolant pipe on. Got these lines on. I don't know if y'all can see or whatnot. Um, I just gotta put the clamp on right there. And then uh, on the outlet, I had a fight with the freaking outlet. Hopefully it stays on and everything. But yeah, I did that. I think I don't got, I shouldn't have had too much more left to do. I think I'm gonna do the water pump, do the water pump thermostat, relocate the coolant, um, motor mount bracket, motor mount, and that's it. And we up through there, so they get it. All right, I did all that, tighten the clamp, move the clamp. I just hope this song don't leak, boo. <laughs> Well, we gonna see. I'm not gonna go in the boost for like four or five days though, to be honest. I'm gonna just let the turbos heat cycle and everything. So, um, right now I'm about to uh, do the relocation. I'm about to extend this wire right here. Gotta cut this out right here and then um, snip it and then extend it so I can run it along here or on the other side because the, the coolant expansion tank is gonna be over here sitting probably right there so and i might move this over here yeah that's what i'm doing i'm gonna take this from right there and move that over there and put the expansion tank right there so let's go ahead and do that All right, so to update y'all, as y'all can see, we already uh, extended this wire right here. Mm-hmm, that's gonna run all the way over to the expansion tank over there. I already did that down there. Um, I just cut this coupler right here, not coupler, it's coolant pipe right here. Um, and it's gonna run over here. I just measured it, where's it at? I just set it down. I think it's this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna run that from there 
over to here because I'm gonna run this and it's gonna connect underneath the charge pipe. It's gonna connect underneath the charge pipe like that, like so. This one's gonna come like that. Yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna run, bro. So, let's get to it. As y'all can see, we just did that. So we about to go ahead and put this coolant tank over there. That goes in there. Already relocated, as you can see. Just don't want this light to be in the way. Probably had to zip tie that to this. Yeah, I'll just zip tie that. Yeah, for the most part. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna just put this in first. I don't know what I should put in first. Let's bring this over. I can't see anything. All right, that's in there. That's good, I relocated this as well. Mm-hmm. Looking good, looking good. So I'm about just time lapse the rest of this. All right, we back. So I fast forwarded a lot. I finished everything. Um, that's done. The fan is in. These are in, that's gonna sit like that for now. I really don't even freaking care. Um, button up everything on the bottom, that's good. Um, I'm about to change the oil filter, put oil in it. Um, then I have to prime the turbos, put coolant in it, cycle the coolant. Uh, well, I could cycle the coolant first, to be honest. I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was hell doing this. I'm not even gonna front. If y'all can see my face right now, I'm dirty, like, boy, like, the only thing that held me up was the motor mount and a motor mount bracket on this side. For some reason, I was pushing it more forward. Um, I don't know why I was doing that, but it was supposed to go back more, and um, the outlet was hidden, so I had to move the outlet up more into the turbo, retighten that back down. <laughs> it, I just had to do a lot, bro, so... Um, you see the gray one goes to the rear. 
Yep, gray one goes to the rear. Excuse me, that music in the back. I can't really do anything about it. And black goes to bank one. That and the downpipes. Oh my god, the downpipes. I don't know. I just went. I went brain dead when I um was trying to put them down pipes in for some reason. I could not put them in regularly, bro. Not why. And I added a whistle name to the the catch can. It's not much, but it'll do, bro. I just I was trying to get the car running, and I'll fine tweak it whenever I have time to do that. I'm not really worried about that. So yeah, I'm about to do the filter, put oil in it, put coolant, and we bought the prime the turbos and everything. And we about to do the first startup, man. Let's get it. All right, did that. Now I'm about to just add, let's add some oil in. And I apologize if I didn't show everything because, bro, this car pissed me off. I'm just being honestly, I'm just being real with y'all. This car had pissed me all the way off. Just being real. See if I can pour this without spilling. Oh, I'll spill it a little bit. I apologize for the music in the background. The copyright me, I don't really care. That's good. So I'm gonna, this is another five, so I'm just gonna add two in here. All right, that's it. That should be good, to be honest. Definitely gonna say this oil, because it's a BMW. I know y'all laughing. All right, that's good. Now it's time to do the coolant. Fill it with le coolant. El coolante. Sound like a dummy. Definitely excited that I got the coolant on the right side. Feels good to have it over there again. I think that's it. I can start filling it and just see, see if it see if it's gonna leak from anywhere. Bro, bro, I heard the music. The music, he played a different song and he turned it up. Look, he can see the cameras though. <laughs> they playing how you go seek, they can't find them. <laughs> Pouring out. Is water pump what? It looks like the water pump house is crap. You for real? <laughs> <laughs> 